We have another day in the life of video coming at ya. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gonna make my date spread bread. Ah, I don't even know how to explain it. This is the secret ingredient that like makes the bread work besides date spread. I don't know how you pronounce it. Can't pronounce anything. Silent? Xylem or psyllium, psyllium, xylem, I don't know. Psyllium. This word, husk powder, one teaspoon of this is 15 calories, no fat. It's literally like nothing except four grams of carbs and three grams of fiber. So there's one net carb, no added sugar, nothing. It's just, it's literally like grounded up fiber. And besides that, we need almond flour. I hope I have enough. You need two cups. <laughs> Oh boy, I just started filming this. Ugh. All the dry ingredients go in this bowl first. One fourth cup of this impronounceable powder. You need one tablespoon of baking powder. And make sure have the oven preheating on 350 while you do this. You need one teaspoon of sea salt. So this is all the dry ingredients. We do all of the wet stuff in another bowl and then put that into this bowl and mix all of them together. You need four eggs for this. And then half a cup of warm water. And then one fourth cup of date bread. Speaking of the vanilla, add one teaspoon of it. And like I said, one fourth cup of date bread, which is the equivalent to like a humongous spoonful. Okay. And now we whisk. At this point, if you wanted to add chocolate chips, you could. You could add blueberries, you could add cacao nibs, chocolate chips, any fruit. Ooh. You can make chocolate chip muffins if you just put individual scoops of this into a muffin pan. That's so tempting, but I set out to make bread in this video, so we're gonna make bread. Make sure you like mash it down. I'm gonna add, you guys know everything bagel seasoning? I'm gonna put this on top. Now we bake. It takes 30 to 35 minutes, just depending on the oven. I gotta show you guys. If you don't feel like baking paleo bread, you can get this paleo bread at Whole Foods. It's in the frozen section where they put like frozen gluten-free muffins and stuff. It's really good. The ingredients are water, coconut flour, egg whites, organic lemon juice, salt, and that stuff I can't pronounce. Psyllium. That's how I discovered this as an ingredient. I like saw it in here and kind of reversed engineered the recipe. Here's the label. One slice is six carbs, five grams of fiber, five grams of protein because of those egg whites, you know? And super low calorie, low net carb. I'm telling you guys, this is it. Yeah, let's go get acai bowls. Hey, text mom. Mom wants to come. Just send her a text. Tell her we'll wait another for a while. Let her know. Let us know what time you want to go. We'll wait for mom. You gonna send a message? Yeah, I'll text her. My mom loves loves having all of her kids back home. Check us out. I live here, so she doesn't really appreciate me. My little brother is her favorite child, even though she would never admit it. Oh boy. We'll finish this bread and then we'll go to my favorite acai bowl shop. 
so good. I'm making a loaf. Delicious. My date spread bread. It's paleo. Paleo low carb keto technically. Mom's got a dress. All natural. <gasps> Plus yeah. video is it? <laughs> It's family week, it's the holidays. Mom, I was telling them how Max is your favorite son. <laughs> I don't have a favorite anybody. That's not true, Melissa. <laughs> hey, Max and Mus. Melissa's telling people on YouTube you're my favorite child. <laughs> That's not true, I don't have a favorite. Max, what are your thoughts on this? One hand. No comment. No comment. This smells like a bagel shop. Wow, this looks so good. And the top is nice and crunchy. Okay, bread's gonna cool. We're gonna bike to smoothies and acai bowls. And we'll be back to cut this and eat this later. My Walmart shoes. Sorry about my feet. My bike. I got this on Amazon for 150 bucks for my sweet 16. <laughs> Say hi. Let's cut some. Ten out of ten. Maybe a twelve out of ten. We can blow up the scale for this bread. It's so good. Please try this recipe. But yeah, this bread's amazing. Oops. I'm gonna go share this with everybody. I hope you all have the best holidays. And like this video and please subscribe to the channel because it gives me encouragement to keep making videos. If you have any more recipe requests, also let me know in the comments. Bye.